Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Canon 7D Mi and Sony A6000. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Canon 7D Mi and the Sony A6000 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 15th of September 2014 and the 23rd of April 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Canon 7D Mi. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A6000. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Canon 7D Mi and the Sony A6000. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Canon 7D Mi. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A6000. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Canon 7D Mi. I purchased the Canon EOS 7D and loved it but wanted to upgrade to the 5D MK3. However, it was too pricey for me. Then I found out about the 7D MK2, which had the enhanced AF I wanted at a more affordable price. I bought it, and I'm extremely happy with it. The camera has a lot of great features, and the customer service from the Photo Center and Amazon was excellent when they refunded me $200 after the price dropped. Overall, I'm very satisfied with my purchase. I've been using the Canon 7D Mark II and the EF-S 17-55mm lens. And after some initial issues with the autofocus, I've found a workaround that has made a huge difference. The camera is now performing really well, and I'm enjoying it a lot. Overall, I would give it a 4-star rating due to the initial focusing issue, but with the workaround, it's working great for me. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A6000. Overall, my experience with this camera has been mixed. The electronic viewfinder is great, but it struggles in bright sunlight. The Sony Play Memories app is frustrating to use, and the memory card is difficult to remove. The picture quality is fantastic, and the camera is a manageable size for travel. However, the menus are complicated, and the built-in flash is not- I have been using the Sony A6000 after switching from a Canon DSLR, and I am confident I can replicate my shots with the Sony, if not better. The main reason for my switch was the size of the camera, and I have found several features that I love, such as Wi-Fi connection, face detection, fast focus and inconspicuousness. However, the battery life is not as robust as my previous DSLR, and the lens lineup is limited. Overall, I am happy with my switch to the Sony A6000 and have even purchased additional Sony lenses and flash. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Canon 7D Mi. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Sony A6000. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 